In 1929, researchers who were studying an ancient people named the Oroch asked one of their shamans to draw a map of the universe. The local sorcerer insisted that the universe is surrounded by an invisible sphere with periodic holes that the Oroch called the mouth of the skies. The old man refused to tell where, in his opinion, those portals led to. Nowadays, this understanding of the world seems rather funny, but can we find a better better answer to the question they challenged the shaman with. In this video, you'll learn what space structures threaten humanity if we have a chance of living forever, and whether we can find the boundary of the universe. Why is it essential to find out what lies beyond the universe right away? The point is, there might be something that will make us completely forget about all the problems we have to cope with down here on Earth. But the first thing we've got to do is sort out what our universe really is. Scientists often mention such a thing as the observable universe. This is literally everything that humans can detect with their measuring instruments. A compact scheme of the observable universe looks something like this. And its center lies on our Earth. Well, only because that's where we make all the relevant observations from. In fact, you and I may be living in the backwoods. Should we be worried in this case? Scientists Alexander Keshlinsky and Richard Holman state that some parts of the universe are more affected by the gravitational field than others. This may mean that beyond our universe, there's something even larger and mightier. For example, there can be the dark flow, a giant funnel that's even more massive than the universe itself. Sounds hard to imagine, right? A monster like this won't find it challenging to gobble up our Milky Way in a few hundred galaxies as dessert. Hold on, no need to panic. Firstly, that's just one of the theories. And secondly, who said the universe has any limits at all? How can we determine where the universe ends if even its size remains a mystery to us? In 2016, a team of scientists at the University of Oxford, led by Mihran Vardanian, discovered that the universe is at least 250 times larger than the observable universe. In addition, the idea of the continually expanding universe has been prevailing in the scientific community for quite a long time. And if it's truly so, no matter how hard we humans try to improve our skills, the boundary of the universe will be endlessly backing away from us. We're playing catch-up in outer space, and it's a losing game however fast we run. But are people so sure that the boundary of the universe isn't a fallacy? Perhaps we could answer this question if we knew what kind of shape it has. In 2019, Alessandro Melchiori, a cosmologist at the Sapienza University of Rome, together with his colleagues, measured the cosmic microwave background that fills all outer space. According to the article he published, the universe can be closed and curled up like a ball. If it really is, all our attempts to find its boundary are totally worthless. Even if we manage to build spaceships that cover such tremendous distances one day, they'll be flying around in circles and eventually come back to square one. That works just like a round-the-world trip. However, Alessandro Melchiori's theory hasn't become popular, and most scientists still tend to believe that our universe is either completely flat or has the shape of a horseshoe. Any of these options means that everything has a limit. And if the dark flow is there hiding beyond this limit, perhaps humankind can still survive. Or maybe we're just deluding ourselves. What other troubles could be waiting for people beyond the universe? What if the dark flow won't be able to suck us up because we're already inside of a giant black hole? Theoretical physicist Nikodem Poplowski suggests that our universe originated from part of a much larger one that had simply been swallowed by a black hole. Although black holes have been astronomers' favorite phenomenon to study for many decades, we still don't know what we can find inside them beyond the so-called event horizon. 
Black holes warp space-time so much that nothing can escape their gravitational pull. And the laws that make this happen this exact way look very similar to the mechanisms of the expansion of our universe. We should probably stop trying to get inside black holes as we're already floating through the stars inside one such funnel. It may seem that this scenario is way better for the human race than living side by side with the scary dark flow. But things aren't that simple. If we are indeed surrounded by a black hole, scientists don't have the slightest idea what will happen to us in the future. Complete ignorance is sometimes even more frightening than a global catastrophe predicted very far in advance. On the other hand, perhaps we don't need to take this so seriously. Could it be that there's nothing dangerous waiting for us beyond the universe because there's nothing at all? Even the visible universe contains so-called voids, or places where there are no celestial bodies and are filled with dark matter. Many people find it hard to digest this fact, but what if we take another step forward? Can you imagine an absolute, total, profound nothing? There's an assumption that this is precisely what lurks behind the world as we know it. However, we'll probably never know it for sure, as it's impossible to measure pure nothingness. And what if we can't determine where the universe ends because it ends where something else begins? We already know that the universe can endlessly expand. Even if this is true, in this never-ending universe, there must also be never-ending replications. We've all seen mirrors at some point placed facing each other. In this case, they produce infinite reflections. Roughly speaking, that's how the multiverse theory works. Its advocates believe that somewhere in our universe or multiverse, there are countless copies of our Milky Way, our Earth, and even ourselves. Right now, thousands, millions, billions of copies of you might be inhabiting the vastness of space. You may think, if the universe continuously repeats itself, our duplicates must be living just the same lives that we have here. But here the fun begins. A statistical error can happen in any measurement system. And considering the size of the universe, even the slightest mistake can play a significant role. If the multiverse does exist, laws of physics in some copies of our world might be a bit different from ours. On some of the alternate planets, people might be born blind. Or perhaps somewhere humans feed on edible rains or snows somewhere far away. What's more, certain theorists think that in this case, people don't die, but eternally travel between worlds. Feeling groggy after sleeping, have you ever had the impression that the world is a little different? Could it be that we step through the looking glass and peek into some parallel dimension at these moments? Anyway, none of the modern theories that try to guess what lies beyond our universe is evidence-based or actually proven yet. Who knows, maybe the real truth is strikingly different and we haven't even scratched the surface of it. What do you think could be hiding beyond the boundary of the universe?